A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this channeling session. In this channeling session, I'm being given a collective message. And my dear friends, I want to make a request to you all before I share this message. Point number one is that you could be in a situation where you feel that this message of the channeling is not happening in your life or it can never happen in your life. Let me tell you, these are timeless channelings. In some form or the other, they always work out. But you also need to think, if you get triggered and if you feel that it will never happen to me, I'm not worthy of love, I'm not worthy of apology, I'm not worthy of this, that, then that means there is scope for healing. And there is inner work that you need to do. So don't get demotivated or don't get sad about these things. In fact, use it as a sign. Use it as God's message to you that, hey, you can change your situations. And if it is written, if it is already meant to happen, if it is predestined, then nothing can stop it from happening. If you feel that, no, it will never happen, then also maybe God is trying to tell you or God is telling you or asking you, requesting you to accept your present moment, enjoy it, then automatically you will feel a big shift. In this channeling session, the Divine Masculine apologizes to the Feminine in person. He speaks to her. Again, he means masculine energy, the logical, practical, analytical energy the one who holds it also it is seen that this is the energy that acts like the runner because runners like to escape runners like to save themselves they are the ones who will always look for a route or a map to get out of a situation where they're stuck in but it is the chaser the feminine who likes to stay in the situations do the analysis go into the details understand everything and in some situations, it is good to be the feminine. And in some situations, it is good to be the masculine. So, I'm being shown a masculine and a feminine. And they both have immense respect for each other, immense fondness and liking for each other. They also feel very blessed to meet each other, to be in each other's company. And talking to each other makes them happy. But due to some negative energy or due to some kind of a negative vibration around them probably they are in a situation where there are lots of people and maybe there is some one specific person who's got good amount of focused energy but their focus is more towards negative energy like there are some people who focus on positive thoughts some who focus on negative thoughts those who focus on too many negative thoughts they usually fall sick they have some diseases they look like a victim all the time they could also be covert narcissist so these type of people sometimes can have an impact on those who are doing inner work. I'm also being shown that both this, these people, these two people are extremely aware, awakened souls. They are obviously better and different than other people. They believe that everything is written. They believe that, that even them meeting each other is already written. It was written in the stars. So they have a very unique energy. If, they are, if there are 500 people in a crowded place, then also these two will have pretty intelligent and interesting conversations with each other, which will be beneficial for both. And maybe I'm also being shown that the feminine could have relied a bit too much on this masculine for validation or for support. So in order to cut that codependence maybe god created this situation it's not maybe this is how i feel so god created a situation where they both have a tiff they both have a moment or you can say some time where the masculine walks up to the feminine as and says something very mean to her blames her for something says hey you don't even know this you don't even know, know that and you can understand. You guys are all intelligent. They have this very negative conversation. They have this very 
mean conversation with each other so it hurts the feminine a lot because she was thinking okay if there are so many people over here this one person definitely accepts me for who i am loves me for who i am respects me for who i am as long as this person is around everything is okay but that's not what god wants her to learn or think about herself because god wants the feminine to be independent you know why because feminine is the leader the feminine energy whosoever possesses it supposed to lead others into being themselves into being authentic so if the feminine is going to be depending on the masculine's validation it will hinder her process or, or her progress and it will also create some kind of emptiness within some kind of deficiency that's not the part of the plan so when he is mean to her when he disrespects her when he is negative towards her or when he blames her she goes into her own zone she goes into her own solitude into her own space she has a self conversation a self talk you know when you are very negative in fact the beginning of this channeling i said the same thing if you get triggered if you are very negative you need to have a self talk and it has to be an uplifting self talk and it also has to be an intelligent self talk you have to look into various perceptions you can't look at all subjects or all details or all point of views in just one way you have to look at it from a logical perspective as well as from a emotional perspective as well as you have to look at it from a blended perspective and then you have to look at it from other person's point of view also your point of view other person's point of view you have to see it like okay this is happening that is happening why this and why is it affecting you you have to question why is this statement why is this blame game why is this behavior affecting you how is it hurting your existence or the space you belong to why is it creating blockage in your sacral chakra why is it giving you pain in your stomach or headache or whatever it is what is the guilt factor here so my dear friends i am being shown that whosoever has the feminine energy goes into a solitude space and they do a proper research on their feeling and they try to understand it and when they understand it they feel that i don't need the masculine's validation to exist it is very good that the masculine respects me or you can think you know all the good things the masculine is doing and you can be grateful for that maybe in certain moments that validation was very important so the masculine gave you that validation and you were so happy about it but now you need to accept it as god's will and when the purpose is over because all of this validation that the masculine is giving to you or all the validation that you need from the masculine for, for which you are depending on the masculine you may not need to depend on the masculine or anyone for that you should just know it you should just know that you are a truthful person an honest person a sincere person a grateful person wherever you go you must spread the message of truth and one love why because that's your nature that's the nature of any divine being or any being who is surrendered to the master because what do the masters want you to do to be yourself to be who you are to accept yourself in all moments and all times so the feminine figures this out and then when the feminine comes out from that zone and is very relaxed and calm that's when the masculine i'm being shown walks up to the feminine on his own she doesn't bring the topic up she doesn't speak about it and also you know when you do all of the inner work and you heal yourself your behavior is also very nice so even though he may have blamed her he may have said some mean words to her she's already forgotten it already in the past it's gone and a beautiful story is coming to my mind which i must share with you so once upon a time a monk and his disciple were crossing a bridge it was a big bridge and there was one lady a beautiful woman was standing at the bridge at the beginning of the bridge and she had some wound 
she was not able to walk she was limping she was also in pain now it is said that the monks are not supposed to touch any woman it's a part of their training program it's a part of their lifestyle but the woman was in a lot of pain so one of the main monk the master monk he had so much compassion for the woman he picked her up he carried her and he crossed the bridge with her while he had lifted her in his arms the student who was behind the monk was looking at this situation in shock and horror he was also feeling bad that you know poor lady she cannot even cross the bridge or she is hurt so he had the compassion also he felt the kindness but he was also worried because there's a rule they need to follow it's a very big rule of monkhood important rule so he just could not shake it off his head it was troubling him a lot that how could my master my teacher how could this wonderful monk who the whole world praises so much forget about such an important rule and pick up the woman in his arms and that to such a beautiful woman such a young beautiful damsel in distress that's that's wrong so his intellect was telling him that this should be questioned i should i must ask about this i must inquire so some time passes by now he has obviously dropped the woman off they are both on his way they are both practicing silence they are both walking in silence they cross some more bridges or mountains a long time is gone so now this student monk cannot keep the question to himself he says master monk i want to ask you something he says yes ask well that woman that you picked up in your arms you helped her to cross the bridge i understand it is a great gesture she was in pain she was hurt she could not walk all of that is agreeable and i understand this type of compassion this kind of humanity it is very obvious for a person like you to feel for her but you only say and so many other master monks have said that we should not do this and she was a young woman and she was a beautiful woman so the master monk looked at him and replied i picked her up and i dropped her off at the end of the bridge i wanted to help her i felt moved by her pain and i felt that we were the only ones who could have helped her it was a it was not a place it was not a conducive place for her to seek help her crossing the bridge was important i felt it was on a humanitarian ground it was the right thing to do i did that i already dropped her off but you you are still carrying her you are still carrying her you have not dropped her off so this is the story my dear friends feminine has learned not to carry the thoughts that are from the past if someone misbehaves with you or someone is mean with you at a certain point at a certain juncture it's already gone there's no point of revisiting that memory again and again and hurting yourself either you do it in one go you sit with a notepad you sit with a pen you write the whole situation down you look at it from all angles and perspectives you do the detailing you write down all the points that trigger you all the points that affect you all the points that make you feel you are unworthy unlovable useless not beautiful not bright not handsome not good looking whatever it is not rich whichever point triggers you put it down and write it properly why it is troubling you why it is bothering you and then forget about it if that thought torments you learn to take your mind away from those thoughts because see this is the journey's main inner work is this only to get out from the past and not live in the future if some past based thoughts are troubling you so much then train your mind train your mind so well that they don't trouble you don't form perceptions about people because everybody goes through good days and bad days and the interesting thing about this channeling is that the masculine actually verbally says this to her he says this to her 
forms a sentence on this subject i was negative i probably got impacted by some negative vibration this is what he says that it was not your fault it was not your mistake i am really sorry that i said these type of words to you or these type of emotions i displayed in front of you i really didn't mean it yes of course you whatever you said and whatever you did was out of concern or out of respect and out of love fondness everything is not romantic my dear friends this world is not all about romance it is people who are untrained people who have not done proper inner work they see everything with romantic ideas romance is an illusion love is the truth we need to build this love build this love more and more more and more unconditional love selfless love you put so many conditions on love it will not remain love it will become something else a distorted form of love so the masculine is intelligent enough because i told you in the very beginning he is also doing inner work he is also working on himself on a daily basis okay so he realizes that yes it was some kind of negative energy somebody's negative energy that impacted me and it made me feel extremely attached to the i me myself or to the name i carry or to the image the physical identification that i carry i was so attached to it that i felt that someone was degrading it or someone was disrespecting me or being mean to me or whatever whatever negative emotion he felt it would be different in different situations but the core emotion of this channeling session is the same now you guys can apply if in case you don't 100% resonate with it then you guys can apply your own situation with it but i am being shown for sure for sure okay he will walk up to the feminine say sorry apologize and also make her feel very nice but because she has already healed herself she will accept it with a smile and when he says to her hey i hurt you i was mean to you she is not going to say oh no 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 it was all fine it's okay i never felt bad because a lot of people do that i've seen when someone goes to them say, to say sorry they do not regard their feelings they don't say yes i was hurt yes i felt bad but i'm so glad that you are messaging me or you're calling me or you're speaking to me on the face now this whole situation can happen over a video conference call also this whole situation can happen on a audio call also this whole situation can also happen over a letter or a message like a long message that i'm sorry i hurt you i didn't mean to you know i was rude but it has to be a genuine apology it is not a false apology and it is not an apology which is being done to fix a situation or it's not coming from the heart it will come from the heart only then it is authentic and real and that's exactly what i'm being shown here so this is where i'm going to close this channeling session i will see you soon in another one for personal situations to have a detailed understanding of your own personal situations you may be stuck somewhere you may be needing head holding you may be needing <laughs> head holding also so you can then write to me at the sunamoon@gmail.com after you go through the description box and you check out all the details and i'll see you soon in another one one love peace out and jai shri ram you want to say one love peace out and jai shri ram One love, peace out, and Jai Shri Ram. Say it like Jai Shri Ram. Jai Shri Ram. <laughs> See you. Bye. Mwah.